guys and welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. First of all, never mind the lighting. It's early in the morning. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new product that I picked up at Walgreens just on a whim. So I picked up the Mark Anthony True Professional line, which is the Strengthening Grow Long line. There are three products in this line. The first one is the Super Fast Strength Shampoo. This is an anti-breakage formula for longer, stronger hair. It adds shine. It has caffeine and ginseng, and it's free from sulfates, SLS, parabens, and phthalates. And this is an 8.4 fluent ounce bottle. The second product I picked up also from the Grow Long line is the Super Fast Strength Conditioner, which is also an anti-breakage formula for longer, stronger hair, add shine, also with caffeine and ginseng, just like the shampoo. And this is an 8.4 fluent ounce bottle. And the last product in their line is the Super Fast Leave-In Conditioner. This product nourishes, detangles, reduces breakage, frizz, and split ends, also with caffeine and ginseng. It's also an 8.4 fluid ounce bottle. All of these products are designed to help repair dry, brittle hair. Each strand is nourished, helping to promote longer, stronger, healthier hair, infused with caffeine, ginseng, and vitamin E. All of these products have a very light scented fragrance. They all smell really, really good. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right into the video and get started. I want to see how each of these products work for my hair so I can give you my honest thoughts and opinions of each of these items. So without further ado, let's get started. My thoughts about the products starting with the shampoo so with the shampoo it had a very rich and creamy lather I like that the product absorbed uh, quickly into my hair it softened my hair immediately so it felt very conditioning on my hair so I really like the shampoo it definitely created a huge lather a very conditioning lather now the one con I will say about the shampoo is that it did leave my hair feeling stripped after I washed it out, I did not have any problem distributing the product in my hair, first of all. I did not have any trouble washing the product out of my hair. It came out very easily, but it did make my hair feel a little dried, a little dried out. So that was the only con that I found of this product. But other than that, it was conditioning, very rich creamy lather, absorbed quickly into my hair strand. My hair really seemed to like this product. It had a lot of slip to it. And as far as detangling my hair with this product, it, it was really easy to get my fingers through my hair strands and detangle my hair as I was shampooing my hair. So um, I would definitely give the, uh, the shampoo a thumbs up. Now for the conditioner, the conditioner uh, was creamy. Um, it did feel moisturizing on my hair when I applied it to my hair. Um, it did feel like it absorbed well into my hair. It didn't feel like it was sitting on top of my hair. It felt like it was just kind of softening my hair the more I worked the product into my hair strands. So I do like the, the conditioner for that. There was nothing really outstanding about the conditioner. It just felt like really any conditioner to me. So it wasn't really anything that kind of stood out about it. I mean, it was a great conditioner. It smelled great. There was no trouble washing it out. It came out very easily. I, I did not feel there was any residue of the conditioner left in my my hair now the one con I will say about this product is when I was reading the ingredients I noticed that in the, in the ingredients it has um, alcohol but not just any alcohol it has the um, ice, uh, isopropyl yeah isopropyl uh, alcohol which is not good it is stripping and drying of your hair and I don't understand why they would put this in a conditioner 
Um, I can understand if it was in a shampoo, but in a conditioner, I don't like that because I'm trying to keep my hair as moisturized as possible. I don't need anything drying out my hair and causing my hair to break and things like that because it's dry. So, um, would I go back and purchase the conditioner? No, because of the alcohol that's in here, I would not purchase the conditioner again. As a matter of fact, I'll probably end up taking that back and getting my money back. Not to knock the product. I mean, it, it did good uh, for what it said, but with the ingredients, some of the ingredients I saw in there, no. And the shampoo did not have that alcohol in there, um, but I felt that the shampoo was actually a little bit more drying and it didn't have the alcohol and the conditioner does have the alcohol, but it didn't make my hair feel dried out. So go figure. Now the leave-in conditioner, I will say that it did feel very um, conditioning. I felt the oils in the conditioner. Um, it has, let me see what type of oils. I know there's some oils in here because it felt oily. It's got coconut oil in it. There were, I think there were more cons with this product than pros. Uh, one was the ease of use of this bottle. Um, when you start to work this product into your hair and you spray it into your hair your hands get all greasy and slippery so it's hard to hold the i'm sorry the sun is in the way so it's hard to hold the nozzle and spray without using both hands and you have to i mean it's just so slippery you can't hold on to the bottle to easily spray it into your hair so i don't like that it's, it wasn't very easy to use this bottle also the distribution of this product um i would give it a two i would definitely give it a low rating because it shoots out more like a stream like a creamy stream than a mist so it's like you spray it but only just that part of your hair gets the product it does not cover a large portion of your hair at a time so i didn't like that so i had to really keep spraying and spraying and spraying just to get this product throughout my entire hair and it also has that isopropyl alcohol in it as well which is also drying and would i repurchase that again no because of that so i'm going to have to be careful in checking my products the ingredients in my products more carefully especially when it comes to alcohol and things that are drying out my hair i'll be googling a lot of uh, ingredients which i should have been doing this all along but i'll be googling a lot of the ingredients on these products one by one just to see you know what i do not want in my hair or even in my body for that matter so i just want to share with you guys these products i'm not going to style my hair on camera i'm going to do that off camera i just want to show you just these products only and just my thoughts and opinions if you're interested in purchasing these products again what works for me may not work for you so if you are a natural hair brown skin girl that wants to try these products i'm not knocking them at all it just didn't work for me it's just not something i prefer in terms of the conditioner and the leave-in so if that's not a problem with you as far as the ingredients then i would say these products are really great products overall but i think i'm going to definitely take the conditioner and the leave-in back only because of the alcohol that's in there but um, I don't know if these products are going to do what they say they do as far as growing your hair out with the caffeine in there and the ginseng. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's you have to use these products consistently for like a couple of months to see you know any type of progress. But because I'm not going to be able to use all three products in this line together consistent, consistently, um, I'm not going to commit to these products and seeing if it grows my hair. There's other methods I can do to do that. Um, so I'm not going to commit to this particular brand. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. Ah!